Welcome to Chet TV News. Here are your headlines. Having a parking ticket has never benefited so many people. Fort St. John gets a first, hosting the Canada Cup this weekend. And there are only a couple days left to cast your vote for the TLC Thrift Shop's application video in the BC Hydro Champions Program. Welcome to Chet TV News. I'm Callie Warren. Any recent parking violations? Well, if you haven't paid for any tickets you've received after the 1st of September, Fort St. John City Council approved another year of toys for tickets. It's a win-win. The parking ticket exchange program allows you to trade in any violations you've had for toys between December 8th and the 19th. The toys get distributed throughout the community for those less fortunate. Dawson Creek has had one special 18-wheeler parked in front of their co-op. For years, Roseneau Transport has organized the 18 Wheels of Christmas Food Drive, where they collect food to help feed those in need over the holidays. But this year, they have added something new. They have partnered up with the United Way Toy Run and will collect toys as well to help make a child's Christmas just that much better. The organization has just started receiving applications and hope to help close to 150 families this season. Donations have been pouring in for the Peace FM and Chet TV's Christmas Vault. Businesses in Chetwin and Dawson Creek have been very generous so far, and the prizes look amazing. Keep listening to Peace FM to find out how you can win a key and a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes. Moberly Lake resident Miranda McMahon has won $15,000 as, as part of the Rotary Mega Lottery Early Bird Draw. The official draw is December 27th, so you still have a chance to grab your tickets. Bear Mountain Ski Hill in Dawson, Canadian Tire, the Dawson Creek Five Pin Bowling Association, Taylor and Fort St. John's Minor Hockey Leagues, and Speed Skating Association are just a few of the many organizations involved in this year's lottery. Even with three new environmental assessment certificates given out to LNG companies, they still face problems on the front lines. West Coast Connector Pipeline, the Pacific Northwest LNG Export Facility in Prince Rupert, and Prince Rupert Gas Transmission Pipeline all received a green light from the Environment Ministry on Tuesday, but they still have to comply with several legally binding conditions of the certificates. Some include ensuring First Nations concerns and wildlife populations are taken into consideration. The North Montney Mainline Pipeline has also been a concern for several First Nation groups. They spoke out about the repercussions of the, the pipeline could have on BC land and wildlife on Tuesday in Fort St. John. The Soto First Nation member expressed concern over the effect the project could have on mineral licks that attract moose and other huntable animals, where others said the area is completely surrounded by industrial development and urged the National Environment energy board to not allow this pipeline to go ahead. In sports this weekend, the Canucks head out on the road. They are in Fort St. John tonight to take on the Huskies, and on Saturday, they play the Vipers in Sexsmith. Peace FM's Matt Nicholson will be calling both games, and you can listen live on 94.5 in Chetwin or 1041 in Dawson Creek. The Canada Cup began today and will continue over the weekend at the Pomeroy Sports Centre in Fort St. John. For the first time ever, speed skaters from across the country will compete in the piece during the first leg of competition. Organizers have made this weekend event free for the community to come out and watch top athletes earn their spot at the 2015 Canada Winter Games in Prince George. Powder King was closed on Friday because of high winds, but they expect to be open throughout the weekend. Be sure to check their Facebook page before you head out to the hill. And there are just a couple days left to vote for the TLC Thrift Shop and Training Center's application video, so don't forget to keep voting every day. The $10,000 grant would go to a brand new sewing center that would help save more clothes and items from our landfill. Check out the link on our Facebook page. Thank you for watching Chet TV News. You can always tweet me at Warren underscore Callie or email me at Callie at peacefm.ca. Your weather is coming up next.